Okay, folks, that was a tough one in A. Let's move to G, because G is actually a really fun uh, key to get into, because we have our G scale, which is actually a, one of the open scales is just really easy to play, because it's right here within the G cowboy chord. And yes, folks, we like to call them cowboy chords. That's right. So, so the first G scale actually sounds like this. Now all I'm doing here is I'm playing pretty much if you played a G scale uh, from a barred position. Right, well I'm going to just play all that open now. So we play on our E string now, we're playing the third and second fret. Releasing to an open. Third fret on the B, first fret, open. Second fret of the G string, which is an A note, to an open G. And we're on the fourth fret D, second fret D, open. Third fret, which is a C, on the A. Second fret A, open. And there's your full G scale, okay? Now this is actually really fun, and bluegrass pickers actually like to use this especially when you're coming up with, you know, with cool licks, because you can, you know, when you think melody as you're trying to come up with a solo, that's a real fun scale to utilize, and we'll get into that in, in uh, greater detail a little later. Now let me show you the second one in G that's a lot of fun to play. This actually starts on the 8th fret, B string, and we're going to go to the 7th fret on the B, follow that with an open E, now we're going to reach up on the G string with our third finger on the seventh fret, which is our D note. Play the C note, which is the fifth fret G, followed with an open B. The A note now, which is D string, seventh fret, and then we have an open G. Now what I recommend, folks, is that you learn that half first. So it's, it's important that you may just play this real slow. So let's just cover the first half real slow. One, two, and play it real slow. Now we've kept it real open sounding and that's what you want. You want it to just cascade and flow. And uh, so let's play it one more time together. One, two, and even slower now. Now what's so great about that is when I started practicing that half, then I slowly started just keep, you know, I would keep repeating it over and over and over again. And I know that I was literally driving my wife crazy on the couch just playing this scale as much as I did. And of course, you will slowly build up your speed, but again, keep the scale clean. Always play clean. So let's, let me just kind of show you what that sounds like over time. It sound, kind of sounds neat. You just... And then you get to the point where you can actually play it like... And yes, you'll be able to play it that fast too. Just keep practicing. That's the key. Then, once you finish that half of the scale and you're comfortable with it, then we're going to move on to the second half, which is essentially the same second half that we played in the other G scale I showed you, which is 4 and 2 on the D string. And then I pulled that off to an open D, as you can see. Then we do 3 and 2 on the A, 3rd fret to the 2nd fret, followed by an open A, and then a G, your full G scale. So now let's connect all that together. Sounds like this. All right, let's play it slow together. One, two, and we're going to play it all now. Now let's even go slower with it. One two and go really slow okay 
Okay, so that's the second G open scale. And that is so much fun, guys. And uh, I'm actually going to show further on down the line here when we get into the D scales how you can connect the G and the D together, which is so cool. Now, the last one that I want to talk to you about in G is essentially the very last one we did in A. That pr can pretty much work over any key. So I won't go into a full-blown explanation of this one. If you learned it in A, you can play it in G. We're just going to carry it down two frets. And so it will sound like this. All right, so it's going to sound like this. And I actually played it right this time. Yes, perfect. So what I'm doing, guys, here again, is now we've slid down two frets. So we've, we're on the, the low E string and the A string with our, third, our second and first fingers on the third and second fret. So now we're back to the pick, pick, pull pattern, folks, okay? <laughs> Sounds so nice. A one, three, and five together. Perfect harmony. Now we're sliding with our third finger on the fifth fret of the A string, our first finger on the D string, third fret. Now we're going to slide with our second finger now on the fifth fret D string, first finger on the fourth fret G, with an open string underneath that, right? Now we're going to go ahead and play a full triad now in G, which is we're going to slide to the 4th fret G. Play the, tr play the actual full triad with our first finger barring on the B and E string of the 3rd fret in the G position. And we're going to reach out with our... Now you can use your 4th finger to be proper about it, but I like to use my 3rd. So we're going to reach out and grab... Okay, now we're on the 6th fret, reaching out with a pull-on. Well, what is it? It's a hammer-on. Come on, John. So what we're doing is we're going to hammer-on now with our 3rd finger to the 6th fret B. And right directly under that, I'm hitting our G note with our 1st finger on the 3rd fret. Now from that... Now we reach up with our 3rd finger now to the 7th fret high E string. And then we're going to use our first and second fingers again, folks, to create that bend. Okay, now what I've done is I've actually bent with my second finger, uh, with a little help from the first, but from the sixth fret, when, when we've bent that B string up a whole tone. Now you can release that and continue on from there. So you know what, folks? There's three really cool open G licks. Hope you enjoyed those ones. <laughs>